Uh, good morning. Hi, Greg Perry here. We're going to uh, take a look, see what's going on in the shop uh, with the theme of Arts in Bloom. We actually have a, a few French pieces in, so let's come on in and take a look. So the small studio is getting a, a bit overrun today, but again, we're going to uh, pick up with this coming weekend uh, of the theme. Um, so what we have here is a chasse de porter, and it is literally a, a chair that the, the porter or the footman would carry in France. So very lucky to have this object in, object in. Um, it is, with a little bit of research, it's, um, we can attribute it to the Chateau de Versailles, which probably only about 25 were made in the 18th century. And there's only 10 known, and this is one of them. So these came in much more elaborate styles with flaming or urn gilded finials, center crowns for the king or and the queen, Queen Antoinette, King Louis the Sixteenth, um, and this would have been meant just probably for noblemen. So it's still, nevertheless, a very, very important object. Uh, we have original painted surface, but it's in it's in the studio for a conservation slash restoration. Um, you can see that the expansion contraction of the wood panels is starting to to cleave and, and alleviate some of the paint. So we have a little bit of trouble there. But essentially, the, the, the painted figural scenes are in excellent shape. Uh, what's been done over the years, wherever this has been, it's lost its original gilding. Um, this has succumbed to some kind of hack of a craftsman's paint, hack artist. Um, this will be stripped down and returned to uh, 23 and a half karat gold. As you see, we have nothing on the back, again, but we're still suffering the same type of cleaving loss in larger expanse areas. Where we have wooden movement. Um, the, the, the brace, the, the blacksmith style brace at the bottom here would have been gilded. That suffered trauma, great trauma. It's uh, suffered great oxidation reduction and the feet have been broken in the back. They will be fixed. We're also missing the front glass. As we can look inside, we have original 18th century upholstery. How cool is that? Tassel fringe to the top rack to hang um, hang a curtain which will be replaced also so how cool is this original latch and uh, we're actually missing the the porter or the the porter bars okay so we have two oak bars that are going to be manufactured we'll do them in my wood shop and they'll be actually handles turned on either end uh, this could have been handled possibly by two porters or possibly by four four men which would have been on the outside or two one and one on the, the inside. Uh, this was developed in the mid 17th century in Paris. It, it carried, oh, we got a friend there. Um, it carried on to its height uh, in the Chateau de Versailles, but many of these things did work their way over to America. Uh, we met Benjamin Franklin with his, his bouts of gout were carried to the Continental Congress and the convention in July by slaves, and he had his own brought back from England and one from France also. And we also have original glass on the side, which is very important, missing glass in the front. But we're gonna fast forward to the 20, 20th century here. We have a mid-century modern uh, sideboard, which is not my cup of tea, but it's in for restoration. It was subjected to a harsh fire. This should be a very light brass bronze color. And right here, uh, you may see, I have cleaned the surface. So we're down to original. This is severe, severe heat. What's happened is this was lacquered, and the lacquer is actually cooked on this end. So through abrasion techniques and polishing right here, I've come down to surface metal again. This is going to come back to a polished uh, stainless steel rim around the top, stainless steel legs, and they've turned almost a bronze color. So this is uh, just playing, just getting my intervention down on what's going to happen with this. Um, and not looking forward to it too much because of all this, the type of surface it is, quite the rough surface. And, and not to make this video too long, we have on, on the bench here, we're coming at the end of the throws with uh, two tea caddies, which were totally disassembled. A lot of list, uh, missing, <coughs> missing veneer and woods. Uh, these are two English tea caddies from the early 18th century. Uh, missing parts of the fan inlay had to be reconstructed, the top fan. 
and the lining is done with a ground pewter with a proprietary uh, solution not using lead here uh, for obvious reasons I'm sure everybody knows that rebuilt the lock new key it was a missing key that is almost ready to go out the door and this is a Scottish or British tea caddy also okay and uh, when they came to me they were almost black with missing pieces so uh, in the process of French polishing in another couple days they'll be moving out and uh, with fortune has it we have something here and this is called a a porter chaise not a chaise de porter so we had a chair of the footman over here which is carried this is a porter's chair and the porter's chair would have been found in the center of Paris at the grand hotels uh, such as on the Rue de Rivoli near the uh, near the, the Louvre Museum is and you would have had an inside alcove and this man would have opened the door for you he would have checked your card for credentials this is from the 18th century the third quarter of the 18th century original leather we can take a peek inside the, the condition is is very low condition it's it's deteriorating heavily but it's in for total restoration so what are the chances that we've had two types of chairs from France four porters here just amazing in the little wood shop on the lake. And, and that's it for today, and uh, thanks so much.